and I'm here at Melrose and joining me are sporting champions Mabel and Olive. Right then, attention book lovers, the Borders Book Festival is well underway at Abbotsford House near Melrose and this year the event is taking place over six days with a variety, it says here, of special guests. Yeah, and these are lots of special guests and today regulars like Rory Bremner and Michael Palin take centre stage along with a new face to the festival and his four-legged friends who found fame in lockdown. Alex Isaac has more. Well, how fitting that it should come down to these two. Olive in her familiar black, five times the champion, Mabel the rising star. It was a video that became a lockdown internet sensation. An out-of-work sports reporter with nothing better to do than to commentate on his dogs eating breakfast. Seems just a, a little sluggish here. More videos followed, and before you know it, Olive, Mabel and their owner, Andrew Cotter, were all over social media bringing a ray of sunshine amidst the gloom of lockdown. For the three of them, life would never be the same again. You're a good dog. Yes, you are. Who's a good dog? You're a good dog. Oh, I'm glad it makes you happy. Andrew, thanks so much for joining me, both with Mabel and Olive here. So we just had a look at your video there, the first one. And uh, did you think when you made it that it would go viral and people would love it? No, not at all. And that, that first one, that seems a long time ago now. But yeah, that one quickly got over 10 million views. And then the next one, over 20 million on, on Twitter alone. They just kept on going from, on from there and making a Zoom video and doing online dating with Olive. Uh, a video I hasn't had. I wasn't doing online dating with Olive. But it just kept on going. I think there are over 20 videos now and uh, approaching 90 million views around the world, which is... It's strange because they're just my dogs, as you can see, all she's interesting and all over there is trying to find some food. Um, so I give them these characters in the videos, which uh, are s close to the characters, but really they, uh, they don't talk to me quite as much as I make out. So what are you doing? What are you, I mean, she's doing nothing, look. She's just confused by, I don't know, somebody walking around. Anyway, but they, they're beautiful dogs and I hope that comes across as well. Oh, absolutely. And it's been so interesting to see them have that personality because you think you know so much about them. But now you've written two books and, and you're doing a, a little bit of a tour here at Melrose as well. So how are you feeling about that? Yeah, well, we did a stage tour around the country and here we are at the Borders Book Festival. I mean, Abbotsford. I mean, this, is this what Walter Scott had in mind? A couple of dogs wandering around uh, giving talks. So and then a couple of books, the latest one, Dog Days, which is uh, of the last year. It's a diary of the last year and trying to laugh, if that's possible, at some of the strange things we did during the pandemic and hopefully the love of dogs comes across as well. well I think you definitely brought some absolute joy into people's lives now you, obviously you've been on a bit of walk around here so have you got any places that you found the best in the south of Scotland while you're here oh well I mean I'm originally from Troon so I live in England now but I thought they, they love a beach in Troon but across here we've been wandering around the grounds here on a day like today when the autumn colours are out there there are a few places better they can find some sticks to chew she's growling at something which she never does as well this is terrible on camera I don't know this is you should be looking at the camera you should be looking at you shouldn't be doing any of this they've seen something over there but they know when to perform so walter scott's ghost you never know you never just know. a quick final question obviously you are a sports commentator so are you going to go back to doing that or is this now going to be <laughs> what's going forward no i am doing that again it's a very busy it was a very busy summer with wimbledon the olympics and the open championship and we're doing rugby this autumn so there is there is that but this will always be i think an alternative uh, alternative part of my life as well so dogs will stay at home the dogs will stay at home yeah can you imagine them as co-commentators it wouldn't work i don't think so either Obviously, Andrew is on today, but the book festival is going on until Sunday, and hopefully the weather will stay out until then. Alex Isaac, ITV News. I absolutely loved those videos through lockdown. They were very okay. funny. But the dogs looked totally nonplussed by fame. They even had the back to the reporter there. <laughs> Poor Alex. <laughs>